Hello everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops, and today we're going to walk through the Texa Off-Highway software. We're just going to go through the Off-Highway module here, just kind of give you guys a glimpse of what the software can do. For you guys working on Off-Highway, you know there's not a lot of options out there. So with that said, there are several different modules here that can be purchased separately, but let's go through the Off-Highway. It's broken down into four different categories. We've got Ag, Construction, Forklift and Telehandlers, and the Industrial Engines. We're going to start with the Ag side of it. We're just going to take a look at John Deere here after I scroll down. Just let you look at all the different brands this tool does cover here. So, you've got a wide array of things you can connect to here. We'll scroll back up. And the, we're going to choose things with a D next to it because that is in demo mode and we are in demo mode right now. We're actually not hooked to something live. Um, these, of course, all your different models here. And we'll go back up. And we're just going to choose the 7R series. This one shows pretty good on a demo. You got a system scan, which is going to scan for everything on the tractor, followed by a couple other buttons up here if you want to go directly to your activations test or your adjustments and coding left hand column you do have some technical data sheets here this is really helpful um, especially in this case John Deere injector coding this is going to tell you where to get that information off the injector All right. close that and we'll actually go back over here to self-diagnosis and bring us back to the screen we were on and these are all the different modules that are available on that tractor We'll go here. Um, next to it, you've got a film strip icon. This is actually going to give you a location of the data link. This is extremely important to you all highway guys. You know these can be anywhere hidden on these machines. This particular case, it's right here in the cab, and you get a nice little video that shows you where that data link is located. Once this video closes, we'll actually go ahead, we'll hit next, and we are in demo mode, so we'll confirm that and give it just a second here to connect. They confirm. Most of your connections on here you're looking within a minute max of being able to connect so not horribly bad. Um, it comes up on your faults tab but we're going to start in the left hand column with your parameters. 186 of these. Okay and you can grab these things out. Um, of course I'm just going to go through the list kind of quickly but they do populate as you make your way down get down here and just let you see all the different offerings here and that's going to be dependent upon that particular machine that you're hooked to or engine in this case as to how many parameters there are another neat thing with this tool is you do have a dashboard feature here this is going to be your same parameters but it kind of puts it in a picture format here for you a little easier to read so we'll go ahead and we'll go back to this screen. Um, before we get into faults though, you do have the option as well to filter these out if you only wanted to see a few parameters. So there's a lot of little things to this tool that are helpful. Okay, now under our faults, our yellow is going to be our inactive codes. As you can see here, we, do, we can get the error code, the FMI, and the count, so the amount of times that's happened. Also with that said, you've got freeze frame data in certain codes. So you can see there you get a little bit of information what, when that code's set. And then, of course, red being your active down here. Under ECU info, you're going to get your engine code. So this tells us this is a 6090, the six cylinder nine liter engine, followed by our level of ECM down here on the bottom. In the activations tab, these are all the tests that are offered for it. So you can see here you've got all your dev tests, all the way down here to NOx test. Okay. Cylinder cutoff, we're going to click start. I just want you to see what this looks like real quick. So it's going to give you some prerequisites here. And then you actually get a picture format of this. And as you cut each cylinder out, as well as being able to audibly hear it, you're going to see that cylinder go red. And then you're going to see that little fire image from the cylinder there disappear. All right. And we'll go cancel. Go back out. And then in the settings tab, this is going to be things you can go in here and change or anything dealing specific with like forcing a region as you see here. And then we'll get down to the bottom. So we've got options of uh, program injectors too with this tool. Okay, we're gonna close out of this. And then functionality is pretty similar, you know, depending on which modules you're in. But we'll take a look at some of the brands offered in the construction side and special vehicles. I'm not gonna go through a demo through this particular one. But I do want you to see what all is offered here. So it's pretty good coverage. 
Okay. That does cover some cranes and things in there too, so that's where that special vehicles part comes. Under your forklifts and telehandlers, I'll make my way through that list. Pretty good variety there to choose from. But we'll actually go in here, let's go to a Genie telehandler. You get some engine coverage here so you can system scan it and of course get into your adjustments and coding up top. But we're going to go in here so you can see it in demo mode. If you click that film strip, it is just going to give you the uh, connector that you need specifically for that engine. We'll hit confirm here. Confirm one more time that the ignition is on. And you'll choose your amount of cylinders here, whether it's a four or a six cylinder. For screen, again, you're going to get your faults, so you see your active codes here. And again, you've got freeze frame on certain codes with dots as well. So, as soon as we go through that one, okay, let's go over here to our parameters. This particular one gives us 50 different parameters. Again, it populates as you go down. I'm not going to stop and let all these fill in. I just want to kind of give you a look at the ones that are offered. And you do have your dashboard feature again as well. Okay, we've been through faults, so ECU info, just going to give you some serial numbers, things like that. Activations, this is where you can get in here, you can cut your cylinders out, run your different tests, followed by your settings. Of course, you see here you've got injector coding, we can run a regen, you can reset your soot load. Then you have an option here for counter reset. A lot of guys call in with these and they need to be able to reset that PRV. You do have that counter here, you can reset that. So we'll close this out and we'll go back to diagnosis and we'll go to industrial engines. These would be things like pumps and generators and things like that that you'd still be able to connect to with this tool. All right, and we'll just use the ANMAR today for an example. Again, we'll go in through our demo mode here. And give this just a second after we hit confirm. All right. We're connected now. Go to their parameters to start with 123 different parameters. Um, you see some of these bouncing to negative numbers. That's just going from max high and max low there. But as you go down, 123 of them. Again, you've got that dashboard feature here again, really helpful, especially you get into some of these emission systems. As you can see here, as we get to this third screen, we'll hit the back button, get back out to our main menu. And in the false tab, we get our active codes, we can double click these, we get our P code, our SBN, and our FMI. Under the ECU info tab, going to get all of our ECU information along with our part numbers for different DOCs and DPFs here. And the activations tab is where you will actually go to run tests with this engine. Last tab here is actually going to be our settings tab. So this is where you can come in here and you can tell it that you have cleaned or you can actually enter that serial number if you've replaced the DPF. You've got options for DPF regen and this does offer all four here so you're not just getting a force regen. You do have that recovery there too as well if you guys are getting backup mode codes. Here's going to be your list of the four. I'm going to hit confirm here. And this thing, whenever you actually hit confirm, you'll see this DPF eliminate red here to tell you that regen process has started and you would see those RPMs rise. We'll go ahead and close this out and get back to our main screen here. Just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of the tool. You guys working in the off-highway world know there's not a lot of options out there and you typically can't get your hands on the OEM tool. Um, so this tool actually fits that feel good and you're not just limited to being able to read in clear codes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.